Hey guys, I got a different video idea for you today. Uh, I was not planning on filming this originally, but then a friend of mine mentioned that he didn't know you could do this. And so I thought, well, maybe we should just throw up a real quick video. So I don't remember where I got this idea, but I think it was from a luthier or somebody a few years ago that mentioned, you know, people take gloss guitars and will like lightly sand them to give them more of a satin type of finish. But he doesn't know why more people don't take satin guitars and make them gloss. And I was like, well, what are you talking about? Like most people don't know how to respray a guitar and make it look good. And he said, no, 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 you don't have to respray it. He said that satin guitars usually use the same lacquer or polyurethane finish that the gloss ones do. The only difference is that it's a thinner coat and they don't buff it as much at the factory which is why they're usually less expensive. So he was saying that he usually recommends to people, you can save a few hundred dollars by the satin version and then just buff it yourself and you can turn it into a gloss guitar. So before I started recording, I was testing this out on the back of this um, satin PRS that I have here. And you'll see on the front, it's obviously a, a satin finish, not high gloss. Well, the back of it was the exact same way. It was basically just like this neck. It's kind of a satin finished neck. But I took some buffing compound to the body, and now you can see it's pretty much a full gloss finish. And that was all I did to it, just a buffing compound. I didn't spray anything else on it, nothing. So I figured, hey, why don't we do it to the front, and uh, we'll see if it comes out just as well. Now, I've already removed the strings. I'm just going to pop the uh, knobs off here just so that we can you know, get right up against the edges. If you wanted to do this um, really professionally, you'd probably take the pots out, you'd take the um, toggle switches out, things like that. But all I'm gonna do is just loosen up the um, pickup rings so that I can get a little bit underneath the lip there. Uh, but that's it, I'm not gonna take all of the, the hardware off because I'm just kind of doing this for an experiment. But you just get a really good buffing compound. I'm using uh, this brand right here, but I don't know that the brand per se really matters that much. Uh, get a little rag, and I'll just show you exactly what I did with the back. It was very simple. Um, there's a, probably more than one way to do this, but uh, I got some towels laid down here just so I don't spill because one of the things I do, being lazy, is I like to use a buffing pad on a power drill. Um, to just kind of make it go faster rather than just scrubbing the whole thing by hand the whole time. But when you do that, it kind of sprays buffing compound all over the place. So you have to kind of be a little bit careful by putting down some towels and things like that. But just for the sake of this short video, I'm just gonna do this part by hand where I'm just gonna buff this bottom part right here. And then um, I'll, I'll maybe do a cut in the video and, and show you after I do the the power drill and I finish the whole front what the, the whole thing looks like. But hopefully this way it'll be a little bit more obvious that you can see the, the difference between uh, what the normal satin guitar looks like and what it looks like after you just do a real quick uh, little buffing job on it. So I know it's probably hard for the camera to see but I'm just doing a small section here so that it'll be a little bit more obvious to the camera where the brake line is and you'll be able to see the difference real easy. So um, I'm gonna do this for a few minutes, polish it up, and then uh, we'll come back. So I'll speed up the video in this part. Okay, so that was just a real quick little, you know, three or four minutes of buffing. I'm gonna do the whole guitar in just a, couple minutes here but just to show you just a real quick uh, you can see a break um, between the where, parts where I buffed and the parts where I didn't you can see like right here now it's like a high gloss finish right here whereas the normal guitar look like that I haven't sprayed any new lacquer on or anything that's just buffing compound so we are going to turn this entire satin koa guitar into a high gloss guitar here and so again, I'm going to speed up the video so you don't have to wait because it'll probably take me 10 or 15 minutes to do this. But I'm going to buff the whole thing up and then we'll come back and we'll show you a little uh, maybe before and after photograph in the video. 
All right, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I just turned the uh, camera back on just to give a quick update before I start doing the uh, buffing with the power drill. I took the pickups out. I'm spreading the buffing compound around with a rag first, just because I find when you pour it on the buffing wheel that's on the drill, um, it tends to spray more than if you just apply the whole buffing compound thinly across the whole guitar first and rub it in and then do the, the buffing with the power drill, uh, just, just mostly just to get the shine as opposed to working it into the finish. So uh, that's all I'm doing right now. And we will cut uh, this or we'll speed this part of the video up until I get it finished and put the pickups back in and then we'll show you a before and after so you can see what it looks like. Um, and then this here, I just wrapped the, the pickups are in here. I just wrapped them because I didn't want to de-solder uh, them. Uh, so I just kind of wrapped them up in a rag just to protect them from getting any buffing compound on them and so that they don't scratch the guitar while I'm doing all of this. All right, so we will speed up the video and we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. I'm just putting the um, pickup rings back in here. Uh, it just reminded me of something that a luthier once told me. I think it was um, David Neely up in Hollywood uh, that whenever you're putting screws back in, when you start off and you're putting them back in the hole, always go backwards first until you hear a pop. You can feel the screw fall and then go forward. And that way you don't create new threads. That you're always going back into the same threads that you were in the first time and you don't uh, run the risk of stripping the holes out as easily that way. Okay, so that was about uh, 20 minutes or so of polishing and buffing. And I'll put some side-by-side -side, uh, photographs so you can see, but this is what it looks like now compared to what it was before. So it's... I wouldn't say it's like quite as high a gloss as a full nitro or polyurethane, but it's definitely glossy. And this is just one coat. Uh, if you continue to do a second coat of it, you can continue to get it, you know, shinier and, and shinier depending on how glossy you, you really want it. Uh, I'm obviously not going to do the neck because um, I prefer satin finished necks, the feel of those. But I do like the looks of the gloss on the uh, front and back of the guitar. So, um, you know, there you go. That's, you know, less than a half an hour. And I know that I did use a, a drill and a polishing wheel, uh, but that was really just to speed it up. You don't have to have that if you don't have, um, you know, these types of polishing wheels that you can put on your a drill. You can do the whole thing by hand. It's just going to take more, uh, you know, elbow grease and time is all. Uh, but it's it's easily doable all by hand. So, um, there you go. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But I thought that was a real handy little trick or tip uh, that you can get, you know, really nice looking gloss finished guitars, but you don't really have to spend the extra money. Um, you know, I've got a, a Les Paul over there that was a satin finish and the gloss version of that same one on um Gibson's Mod Shop website was $500 more than the satin version, and everything else was the same. Same electronics, same pickups, same everything. It's just one had a gloss finish and one had a satin finish. So, you know, it's not as thick of a coating as the high gloss ones will be, and so if that matters to you, then, you know, it might be worth the extra $500. Uh, but for me, I was like, I prefer the feel of the satin anyway, uh, especially on the neck. So I like buying satin guitars and then just polishing them if I want them to look a little bit uh, shinier. Uh, so anyway, that's just a real quick little tip. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, have a good day. Hey guys, forgot to mention one more thing. Um, the other benefit to doing this, as I'm just kind of oiling up my uh, fretboard here, I always like to do this whenever I change strings. Um, it makes it really easy to buff out scratches um, when you do this. I think way easier than even on a high gloss guitar, although technically you could do this 
on a high gloss guitar as well. If you have light surface scratches uh, using the buffing compound, you can sometimes get a lot of those surface scratches out and make it look perfect and glossy again. Now, obviously, if the scratches are, are deep into the finish, uh, the buffing compound's not gonna do the trick. But for very light blemishes and, and surface scratches, it's really, really handy using the buffing compound. But on a satin guitar that you do this with, man, it's super easy. Uh, as long as the scratch doesn't go down into the wood itself, you can take out almost any um, surface scratches. So really makes it, kind of gives you a benefit to, to getting a satin guitar versus a, a gloss guitar when you start doing stuff like this. So um, that is it. Uh, I've got another video coming out about this guitar. I know I'd posted one before, uh, but I've found out a few things about this guitar since I bought it. And I've also done a few uh, upgrades on it. So I'll be doing an updated video on this guitar uh, with some sound um, samples with it, which I had promised in the original video as well. So keep an eye out for that uh, sometime in the next, you know, hopefully few weeks or, or month or so. I've got like five or six other videos planned, so I don't know exactly when that one's going to be coming out. But anyway, if you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.